Now we move to problem number three. In this problem, sodium phenoxide is treated with carbon tetrachloride, and we need to predict the products that will be formed. So let us see the mechanism behind this reaction. Uh, this reaction is basically an extension of uh, one of the most common and the useful reaction, Riemann-Timmer reaction, also known as RTR. Okay. So in this the first step, uh, let us go by a mechanism. With the uh, ONA and CCL4, we get the initial compound as ONA. C C L C L right then uh, as it is it a basic medium uh, any which is used therefore we will get Okay. Which will change into ONA as two gem diols are there. Therefore, H two O will come out. Okay. Water molecule will be lost. Water molecule will be lost, as we know in gem diols are unstable. Yeah. And they leave a water molecule out. ओके Anybody ask you the end product, it should be this. Then, if we add acetic anhydride, uh, if we add an HCl to it first uh, for neutralizing the Na, we get what we know as. This. and then this compound if we react it with acetic anhydride okay that is ch3 co hold twice o then we will get a very commonly used painkiller known as aspirin and uh, even its structure and formation has been asked in j previously so it's quite an important structure also so let us see what is the mechanism to form aspirin from this in this This two compound we are having. So Gunvaran, yeah, can you tell me which com uh, which part uh, phenol uh, in this compound, the hydroxy part or the uh, carboxylic part, which will attack acetic anhydride or acetic anhydride will attack this? It should probably attack the acidic part. Uh, the acidic part, which one? The The f the it it should probably attack the lone pair of the uh, phenol part, the oxygen uh, atom which is present, which is attached to the ring. Oh, so you don't think that acetic anhydride should not attack? 
No, that's that what seems from the first glance. Yeah, because the most important point in this is always an electron-rich compound. Okay. Will attack to an electron-deficient compound. And we know that hydroxy group has. Two okay. pair of lone pairs, yeah. and here it's already delta plus, delta minus, same over here. So here the density is less. Okay. Therefore, the lone pair of hydroxyl will attack this. So let us see what is the compound form. Compound form will be pH O H. Uh, we will get a positive charge over here. Yeah. And in pH, uh, carboxylic acid will be also attached to the ortho position. Right. And here then, this will be C O minus C S three O. Uh, then uh, C double bond O C H three. Is my product uh, what I made? Is it correct? Mm, does not seem to be correct. Uh, there is an absence of a methyl group. It seems. Yeah, you are correct. A methyl group should be attached over here. So okay. Let me draw it more clearly so you can. Okay. So, therefore, it will give to CH3COO minus, which was already present in the mixture. Okay. Therefore, it will go over here, uh, and our final compound form will be. Already there yeah, it was already there in the solution. So that's why the oxygen atom donated its proton to it. It was already there as this O groups break from here, and hence we get it. Uh, yeah. So as we have seen in this question, this question clearly explained the formation of aspirin. Uh, we need to take every reagent into account while analyzing the uh, the question. the polar bonds break the uh, protons get attached and finally we obtain the final product sure. in this question pentane 3 ol is treated with a solution of hbr and we need to predict the final products that will be formed so let us proceed with the solutions It seems like a very easy question. A normal H plus Br uh, is going to be added, and a carbocation will be formed, and yeah. Br will be substituted. Yeah, is it not very easy? It seems so in the first look, and I think so it's easy. Let us see. Yeah. Uh, CH three, CH two. Then we have C H O H. Yeah. C H two C H. 
Now this OH will be attacked by this H plus. Yeah. And hence it will form OH2 plus. As was my step right in this? Will H plus attack OH plus OH or was my first step wrong? I guess it should be correct because uh, HPR quickly releases the H plus sign. Uh, actually, just in previous question, I explained that an electron rich element should attack an electron deficient. Okay, so H plus don't have an electron. Okay, so basically the lone pair present on the oxygen atom. It should attack. This is the most common mistake with okay. mechanisms. So fine students need to be very careful with this point. We have we are making this point again as we made in the previous question. Uh, so let us proceed. Now we have got here OH2 plus and then the water molecule from this will go and carbocation will come to C. Uh, N. The plus charge will come on C and will become a carbocation. So we are getting CS3, CS2. C plus CH2, CH3. Correct. Now, normal reaction in which PR minus is going to attack over here and form a simple product. So, what do you think, Gunvaran? Wasn't this question very easy? Yeah, it seemed like it got over in just two steps. But in organic, you can't uh, always be sure of the final product unless and until you have done a thorough analysis of the reaction. Yeah, you are correct. Because from this step, there is one more product which can be formed. Okay. Because here you can see that this carbocation can even rearrange over here. Yeah. And, uh, the hydrogen of this. This hydrogen can come over here. Yes, that is possible. Then, therefore, as you see, the H will go over here and the carbocation will be shifted over here and it will form CH3, CH plus, CH2, CH2, CH3. Okay. PR minus can attack and it will form this compound. What do you think? Which one will be the major product? A or B? I think the B should be the major product. And what do you think the reason might be? Uh, B has higher chances of hyperconjugation as compared to A. Yeah. Uh, students, this is very very important and all your doubts and all your concepts should be cleared by this. Uh, it's like whenever we deal with carbocation cases, then we have to apply hyperconjugation. It's not that we have to apply, apply it anywhere. Uh, there are things where you need to apply. Uh, like for stability of alkene, you need to apply hyperconjugation and in this case, when we are going to check carbo uh, the stability by of a carbocation, then we are applying hyperconjugation uh, as the inductive e effect of this groups are almost similar. Yeah. Therefore, because your propyl ring is there, which will give more inductive effect and methyl which will give less and your both rings are equal and they will get equal. So. Ultimately, the resultant is same. It okay. Matter much. So now, when we see the number of hyperconjugating structures, and we know that the number of hyperconjugating structures are equal to number of alpha hydrogens. Right. And we can clearly see this compound has two plus 2 that is 4 alpha hydrogen and this has 3 plus 2 5 alpha hydrogen and the compound which has more number of alpha hydrogen is more stable 
therefore the second one will be formed so in this question we again understand that we need to consider all possibilities while analyzing any organic reaction mechanism we saw that second would be the major product since the intermediate product formed in this case the carbocation will have more uh, more uh, hyper conjugating structures due to the presence of more alpha hydrogen so students are advised to note ca carefully note all the points which we are discussing in this question so that when they solve the practice problems they are cleared with most of the important concepts and one more important point about this is that the configuration of the carbon if it's chiral if it's chiral it doesn't change means there is a retention of configuration if it's chiral like in this case if we add one more if we make it ch2 and ch3 then this is a chiral compound so its configuration after adding hbr will not change it will be same if it's s over here so it will be again s over here as it's following sn1 reaction In question number five, we have a ring compound which is treated in the presence of H plus ions. So let us see what will be the products formed. Again, it's a very basic question or simple question. The lone pair of oxygen. They will give it to H plus, and they will form CH two O H two O plus. Then again, as oxygen is more electronegative, so yeah. whenever as soon as it get the plus charge, it try to take the lone pair of the bonded, uh, whatever bo whatever other atom it is attached to electrons. So it takes the electrons of this bond, that is CO bond, and gives the carbocation to the C uh, the. Positive charge to C and hence form a carbocation over here. So this must be the reaction. What do you think, Gunvaru? So there is still, I guess, uh, the rearrangement or the, you know the shifting of the this carbocation inside the ring possible. Yeah, you are right. As we know by Bayer strain, there. Stability of ring is six ring is the high uh, the most stable ring. Yeah. And then seven and five has equal uh, stability. Similarly, eight and nine has equal stability, and which is very 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 stable than four, and which is more stable than three. Right. Three is the most unstable. Therefore, as here we are getting a probability of forming a five member ring. Okay. And we know that five member is highly highly stable than four. Okay. Therefore, it will proceed more. So, CH two plus. Now, uh, this carbon, it will break this bond. Let me name it one, two, and it will take the electrons bonded between C one and C two. Uh, to over here. Okay. And then it will donate its electrons to the carbocation. Okay, so it will be forming a five-membered ring now. Yeah. So now. it will be forming a five member ring in which a plus charge is developed over here and a hydrogen is here okay correct now this plus this hydrogen bond as a carbocation is present over here yeah and carbocation are unstable okay so a uh, more stable product has to be formed fine therefore this ch bond Will give its lone pair over here, 
and it will take the carbocation by resonance okay and then an h plus will be formed and with that elimination of h plus it will form an alkene in this case cyclopentene okay double bond will be created mm. so in this question also we simply saw a uh, first uh, the lone pair of oxygen atom attack the uh, hydrogen the proton which was present in the solution and ultimately it got removed as a water molecule now the carbocation which is formed in the four membered ring it tend to become more stable by changing the ring structure to a five membered ring ultimately the loss of another proton molecule resulted in a double bond resulting in the form formation of cyclopentene 